So, let's say that you need your player to get to the other side of this wall, but he cannot because whatever he tries to, the wall stops him from moving. And how he gets across is by pressing this button, and it deletes the wall. Now, I'm going to teach you how to do exactly that. First, I'm going to delete the wall with a script on my button that says to delete the wall. Next, I'm going to create a new script, C sharp mostly, and I'm going to name it button. But it does not matter what you name your script. I'm going to wait for the script to load. And here we go. So the first two steps, no, the first step, will be deleting the void start and update, since those two are not needed. Instead, we shall make a void on mouse down, parentheses, brackets. What this says is that if on mouse down, then do this, and we want to do this, destroy wall. But the reason it is red is that it does not have anything to identify what the wall is. So we are going to make a public class, I mean, game object wall. The public lets us call the game object for the outside of the script. In the game object, this identifies that the wall variable is, well, a game object. So I'm going to save. Go to my button, drag and drop the script, and then drag and drop the wall. As you can see, the wall game object is right here, making the public function work. Now if I press play, it should work. Delete the wall. And there we go. So, thank you for watching. If you learned anything new, tell me in the comments. Like this video, subscribe if you want, and thank you for watching.